look back on another great season of Coastal Carolina basketball. Good Sunday. This is the Cliff Ellis Show. I'm Rich Crampanis. We come to you after the 11 o'clock news because of the Big South Championship. Mark Hacker just showed those highlights. And Coach, it's time for us to look back on another year of so many positives uh, with this Coastal Carolina basketball program. And it's going to be exciting. Uh, we've got to take our medicine first and look back <laughs> on that Big South tournament game. But give credit to the Liberty Flames for playing tremendous basketball. Well, they did a great job. And then, of course, uh, as we saw throughout the week, it was Myrtle Beach Madness. Uh, but we were in a rebuilding year this year, but it had a lot of good wins, especially at home. Didn't end the way we wanted it to. You know, uh, we haven't played that poorly at home or maybe had a team play that well against us. But uh, when you look back on what it, what this team did uh, prior to this, only lost one home game in the regular season, beat Akron, beat Clemson. There were a lot of positive, and we had so many. We had, a, we, we had to start over on our front line. And... Uh, Put a lot of pressure on Kier Greenwood and Anthony Raffa. I think they responded about as well as one could. And uh, uh, we'll see some good things happen from this year in addition to wins like Akron and, and Clemson. But uh, there were a lot of things I was proud of. Disappointed in this game and in the tournament. And uh, can't say enough, and I want to say this, about the job that the Chamber of Commerce did. Absolutely. You know, a wonderful job. Uh, I thought our athletic department, university, did a great job. Uh, of, of putting this thing together. A lot of people would be thanked. It was still a great tournament. And uh, we don't want to be in this position a year from now, but I think we showed uh, that this is a great place to have the tournament and it set the tone to perhaps have it here forever. I hope so anyway. Coach, there's no question that Myrtle Beach put its best foot forward. And as someone who knows college basketball so well, the Big South desperately needed this. They didn't yes. need to be scattered around in campus sites. This was a real, for the first time in the right. 13 years I've covered this conference, it was a real tournament feel. It felt like when I went to ACC and SEC tournaments. Well, that's, it's the start for the Big South to do something different that it hadn't done in a long time. And uh, the chamber did its part, and uh, uh, our athletic department did our part. We had good fan support, brought a lot of people to the Grand Strand area. I just wish we'd have won some games. Well, we're going to look back on the final game of the season for Coastal Carolina. It came on Tuesday night against the Liberty Flames. Coach, uh, this was a team that you lost to in Lynchburg, 64-56, but it was so obvious you played much better at home, so you had to feel good going to this matchup. Well, we started out, it was a good start. I mean, we got off to a great start. Uh, the difference in this game is going to be momentum. When Kier Greenwood picked up his second foul, that was huge uh, because we had to become conservative with our defense. It was tough. And uh, it just, uh, then they started hitting threes. I thought Marshall's threes and Gallo's threes were big. Well, it was Kier getting started, though, with an 8 0 run. And then here's Badu Jang on the finger roll. And Coach El Haji J again, the soft hook shot. It's 12 2, six minutes in. Well, we've got we've got a great start. And uh, again, we, we have this until Kier gets his second foul. And then we get. We, it, it causes you to be conservative on defense because you can't, you only have five, so you can't be the same. Here's a Michelle Anaga with a great pass to Justin Daniel, 18 7, and then Badu Jang, another great look to Kier Greenwood, 20 to 10. This is when uh, things kind of fell off the mountain for you. Well, that's when they put their best foot forward and they made some plays, and again, uh, you got to give them credit. You know, players make plays, and uh, they were making them. Devon Marshall was the guy making those plays. This three puts Liberty up 24-20. Then here's Badu Jang, the hoop and the foul. It's a 24-23 game. Coach, once again, you had another surge here. Rafa and then Warren Gillis from three, 28-26, Shauna clears. Well, it's going to be back and forth for a while, and then Liberty is going to make a surge. Kier Greenwood hits this off-balance shot, but at the half, the Flames would take advantage. Uh, another outside shot here makes it 38-35. Now, early in the second half, Coach, you mentioned him, Tomas Gello had a couple of three-pointers, and right out of the gate, you're down nine. Well, this was big because here's a guy that, that he also hurt us at Liberty. He shoots 28% from three-point line, but against us, he's been a dagger. Well, this was the last great run of the Coastal Carolina basketball season, so we're going to focus on it. Off the timeout, Coach Badu to Kier makes it 46-39, and it just seems fitting. Ra Anthony Rafa and Kier Greenwood were the guys that sparked an 8-0 run. There's no doubt about that. They've had such a great career, and they've brought our program out of the ditch. Got to keep in mind, there was one winning season in 15 years before these guys came on board. So the face has changed. Rafa here gets you within one, 46-45. But there's Gallo again, the three, 53-45. And coach, really, the rest of the story, Devon Marshall was just unconscious. Well, the three ball will hurt you. And uh, 
he made some big threes, and you got to give him credit. And that was really the story of the rest of the second half. That you, know, you just got a chance to say goodbye to your seniors here with uh, Kier getting in the basket one more time. Well, this is this is the final hurrah. We can't say enough about what they did as we have our final show. Our hats off it to, to Kier and Rafa for what they did with this program. And I also want to add Charles Ashford, BC Addy to this. They were great practice players. I know they didn't get to play the way that they wanted to and perhaps what we anticipated. But at the same time, they have been good Shauna Clears. 78 to 61 is your final. Only seems fitting for the last peak performers for this season. From the Liberty game, we're going to go with both seniors, Coach Anthony Raff and Kier Greenwood. Well, absolutely. Those guys gave us the lift to give the start of the game. They, they fought hard, but just the career that they've had. They're our peak performers. Time for us to take a break. When we come back, we'll look back on the top five moments from Coastal Carolina's basketball season. You're watching The Cliff Ellis Show, presented by HTC and Dar Pro Solutions. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by HTC. This is life. Connect with it. And by Dar Pro Solutions, America's largest and oldest recycling solutions company that serves the nation's food industry. A special thanks to HTC and Dar Pro Solutions, co-title sponsors of The Cliff Ellis Show. HTC connects my family, neighbors, and businesses in our community to the most reliable communication services at the best possible value. More services, more savings, which is value I count on when I bundle, giving me more connections to the things that matter the most. Bundle and save up to $45 per month today on your HTC services with HTC Member Connections. HTC, this is life. Connect with it. Dar Pro Solutions is America's oldest, largest, and most innovative recycling solutions company that serves our nation's food industry. Dar Pro offers their customers over a century of experience, a network of nationwide locations, and a continuous commitment to research and to develop tomorrow's recycling solutions. Dar Pro is founded on the heritage of two great companies, Darling International and Griffin Industries. A special thanks to Dar Pro Solutions for being the co-title sponsor of the Cliff Ellis Basketball Show. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Waccamaw Land and Timmer. Serving the Grand Strand since 1982, the ultimate goal of Waccamaw Land and Timber is to match the best interest of both the buyer and the seller. If you're looking for a place to relax, hunt or fish, the professionals at Waccamaw Land and Timber can find you the perfect recreational property. Call 449-0441 to discuss your real estate needs with Waccamaw Land and Timber. I want to thank my friend Keith Henson from Waccamaw Land and Timber for their support of the Coastal Carolina Shauna Clears. In the blink of an eye, everything changed. The house we called home, gone. Glad to see you and your family are okay, because what is lost? can always be found again. Welcome back. It's time to look back on the top five moments of the season for Coastal Carolina basketball. We begin with number five in Farmville, Virginia, where Anthony Rafa made national headlines on ESPN Sports Center. Number six, Coastal Carolina versus Longwood. Anthony Rafa just inside half court. Triple your pleasure, triple your fun. Coastal Carolina wins it, 80 to 72. Yeah, we Hell. just uh, we dropped back into a one-three-one zone, and they threw it to the corner, and I uh, contested the three-point shot, and you know Tristan got it. I said, "Yo, Tristan, throw it up." There's four seconds left, so I threw it up from half court and went in. For Anthony Rafa, it was his second half court shot as a Shauna Clear. The first one came at Kimball Arena two years earlier to end the first half against Radford. I feel like the Radford one was straight on from Sam two years ago. It was straight on. This one was from like you know. Sideline. Well, anytime you can get ESPN's play of the day, uh, it brings focus to Coastal Carolina's program to millions of people. And uh, certainly that was a big shot. That was our first road game. We didn't have a great road year, but that was the first conference road game that we played and we won it. And that was a big shot. At number four, the Shauna Clears open its new home with the best win on the 2012-2013 resume. On November 9th, the HTC Center was christened as Coastal opened the season against Akron. Kier Greenwood goes down in the history books as the first ever point scored at the Shant's new home with this three-pointer. 
Anthony Rafa began his final season with a 27-point effort. For a good portion of November, Rafa would lead Division I in scoring. Coastal goes on to a 74-70 overtime win as Greenwood added 19. It's an impressive win as Akron was coming off a 22-win season and an NIT berth, and after losing to CCU in early November, since then, Akron has had wins against UNC Asheville, Penn State, and Princeton. Well, the Akron game brought in the uh, HTC era, uh, the new center, and it was a great ball game. Uh, Anthony Rafa made some big shots, but this team uh, catapulted from their loss against us to, to have the nation's longest winning streak and get into the top 25. And I don't know how many wins Coastal's ever had against a top 25 team, but that was one. Top moment number three, the Shauna Clears dominate Big South regular season champ Charleston Southern at the HTC Center. Warren Gillis with the three here makes it 32-23 at the under four timeout. And then Anthony Rafa shows that senior leadership, an 8-0 run to close the half coach. Well, that was a good that was a good play, good run at the end of the half to go into the locker room with the lead. Here's Rafa with the floater. It's 37-23 Coastal at the half. And uh, coach, other than this Charleston Southern alley-oop to get started in the second half, your team simply took control of this battle basketball game and once again we talk about it every week and we need to it's defense that sets the foundation and everything else comes from it well, there's no doubt about that the way we defended and rebounded that was that was a key in our win uh, this in this ball game Michelle Ananga 12 points and 10 boards this is a real beautiful drive right here to put you up 14 well that was a big play and it's uh, we're going to be able to stretch it out from here. Akir Greenwood knows what to do with a double-digit lead. And he just, he really is a quarterback out there, and he's controlling the tempo. Here he gets a nice drive. Well, that was a good drive. 73-53 to 53 is your final. Four shot and clears in double digits. Uh, we hadn't been whipped like that in a long time uh, since the tournament when uh, UNC Asheville did that to us in the tournament. Um, Arizona, Wichita State, they, none of them could do that to us. They, they played very, very well. They played very hard. They won every aspect of the game. At, and, and congratulations to them. They played a terrific game. Well, basketball's a strange game, and that was one day in which we put it all together, and we beat the team that in the regular season was the number one team. Uh, so that was one of the better days that we had overall as a basketball team. At number two, Kier Greenwood has one more stellar moment in his coastal career, beating UNC Asheville. Anytime you play UNC Asheville is always going to bring out the best uh, in both teams, and Kier had a magic moment, uh, which he's had many times in his career. So now it's 63-62 coastal, 35.8 seconds to go. Here's DJ Cunningham with the slam, coach. It's UNC Asheville by one. Well, we're going to get the ball, we're going to call timeout, we're going to put the ball in Kier's hands, and then you can see the rest. But watch our defense when, when it goes through the net. Okay, Coach, you've set the table here. Kier Greenwood, you got it in his hands. About six seconds to go. We've seen him do this before, but, Coach, here comes the defense you're talking about. you got to hang on for six seconds. Coach, how long is this six seconds for? It's a, it's a long way, but we stopped the ball. A lot of teams, you've seen a lot of teams go and lay it up, but we stopped the ball and they took a three-point shot from the corner with it being contested. That's about as good a defense as you can call for. And you can see that the crowd is quite pleased. What a tremendous basketball game. Uh, coach just said, uh, if you see a play, just take it and uh, wait within the last 10 seconds. That's what I did. Um, took my time, was patient, and I hit the shot. And uh, we, we played good defense for the last five seconds, and we came up with the win. Kier, that reminded me a lot of East Carolina about two years ago at the convention center. Does, does that sink in with you, the same kind of thing? Yeah, it, it definitely has the same kind of feel, except that was a, it was a little less time. But uh, same kind of feel, kind of similar, same situation. Uh, I'm comfortable in those situations, uh, late in the shot clock, late in the game. Uh, I just hit a good shot, you know what I mean? Uh, credit to my teammates. We fought hard the whole game. Uh, luckily, I just hit a shot, and everything worked in our favor. I mean, when he had the ball and he touched the paint, I was like, oh, that's it. I knew he wouldn't make it because that's a shot he made every time. Like, we see it every time. So I was like, oh, he's going to make it. And the top moment of the season, Coastal Carolina dominates the Clemson Tigers. This one's a shocker. Coastal had to be considered a big underdog with just one Division One win heading into this one. Anthony Rafa scores the game first five points, including this three here. 7-0 Coastal early. They built a 10-2 advantage. And then the Tigers begin to settle down. Devin Booker strong on the inside. And then here's K.J. McDaniels hitting a three. 
17-14 Clemson, but the Tigers go ice cold for the last eight minutes of the first half, and Coastal takes advantage. Rafa was sensational. Taking a look at him, taking it hard to the dish. At the half, Coastal has a 27-19 lead, and they're feeling the upset bug at the HTC Center. Second half, Booker led Clemson with 16. He thunder dunks one here. Clemson would get as close as four at 35-31, but no closure. That's because Coastal gets hot from the outside. They had nine three-pointers. Kier Greenwood, 10 points and seven assists. Michelle Ananga opening it up to a double-digit advantage. And Coastal would run Clemson out of the gym. Rafa had 25 points. The Shauna Clears get a 69-46 win over Clemson. Two straight wins over the ACC Tigers. And after the game, Brad Brownell, understandably, a little shell-shocked. You know, they hurt us in transition early. Uh, Rafa got some baskets in transition where he's a good finisher. And, and, uh, and Greenwood is so good with the ball in the half court that it's hard to, you know, keep him from making good decisions. He was, he was obviously had seven assists. Uh, they just, they control pace very well. And then, you know, they've got big physical bodies. I mean, they don't look like a big South team. They've got big, strong, physical kids at the three, four, and five. And so physically, it's hard to overpower them. Everybody in this state, but and I told our team, you did more for Coastal Carolina University <laughs> than, than you can imagine. Because when people wake up tomorrow, this wasn't, this wasn't somebody that people don't know. People are going to look and say, what? What? So enrollment goes up. Fundraising goes up. When it comes to winning, ESPN came in and, and took the last three minutes of this game, and it showed the world what was happening. So Arizona, Gonzaga, those people are picking. Say, what in the world? Who is Coach? It just gives you a platform. And I don't. there's not been a bigger night in regular season in Clemson – I mean, in coastal history than the night of us beating Clemson. I thought last year beating them there was big, but we did it in front of our home people. And you just can't, you can't put, you just can't put what that means to, to those kids, to the university, to our basketball program. Time for us to step away. When we come back, we'll take you inside the Coastal Carolina basketball program and the great moments behind the scenes of the Cliff Ellis Show. That's when we return. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by a &I Fire and Water Restoration, Coastal Orthopedic, Strand Orthopedic, and Creek Rats. Coastal Carolina University Chanticleers need to concentrate on playing their best, not worrying about what to do if an injury occurs. At Strand Orthopedic Consultants and Coastal Orthopedic Associates, we offer all our patients comprehensive orthopedic care from our team of renowned specialists. So no matter what your game, you can stay on top of it. Strand Orthopedic Consultants and Coastal Orthopedic Associates, proud to be the team physicians of the Coastal Carolina University Chanticleers and sponsors of the Coach Cliff Ellis Show. Hello, I'm Tommy Britton, along with my children Case, Preston, and Mary Madison. I practice law here in Myrtle Beach. We're now known as the Britton Law Firm. And Coach Ellis and Coach LaForce, we have fine men that are leading our students at Coastal to great achievements. It's been a pleasure over the years to sponsor this program. The Britton Law Firm, all claims, trials in all courts. Crestcom Bank is now offering our customers a new reason to smile. It's our totally free checking. And when we say free, we mean free. Totally free checking means free online banking, free online bill pay, free MasterCard debit card, free first order of checks, free unlimited checking. You'll even receive a free gift when you open an account. To sign up for totally free checking, visit any of our Crestcom Bank locations throughout Myrtle Beach and Charleston. Crestcom Bank. Have a nice bank. Welcome back to this season finale of the Cliff Ellis Show. Over the past 10 weeks, we've taken you through every twist and turn of Coastal Carolina's basketball season, and we logged a lot of miles on the road and showed you a lot of highlights and analysis. But the favorite part of the show for me was taking the great Coastal fans behind the scenes to learn about the relationship between Coach Ellis and his players, a diverse group of student athletes from all corners of the world. And the first assignment for me in the 2013 edition of the Cliff Ellis Show was to learn how to say the newcomers' names correctly. 
Yeah, my name is uh, Elhaji Jigen, and uh, I'm from Senegal. El Haji's last name looks like alphabet soup, but the breakdown when it comes to pronouncing it is pretty easy. Jagan, El Haji Jagan. But to make it easy, you can just say Haji and say Jagan. You know, I know Jagan is hard, but yeah, that's my name. Badu needs no D in the pronunciation of his last name. It's a simple Jang, Badu Jang. Badu is my nickname. It's easy. That's why everybody call me Badu. But my real name is Aliun Badara Jang. And we can just call you Badu John. Yeah, exactly. Outstanding. You got it right. You got the last name right. Yes. <laughs> See, my last name is Crampanis. That's hard to say, too. Cramp that's, a, that's a Greek name. Cramp Crampanis. Crampanis. See, so I can relate to what you're going through. I always exactly. have to explain it as that's well. True, that's true. My name is Uros Ljaskovic, and I come from Montenegro. Well, so far, I'm in America for like four months now, and then no one said it right. But whoever says it right, I'll be so happy. So just try Euros Ljaskovic. Or Euros? Leshkovich. Yeah, that's how people say it usually. And I and maybe a little more Y in it? Like Leshkovich. Leshkovich. It's like, yeah. Leshkovich. You're, close. You're pretty close. I'm close. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> Senior guard Anthony Rafa closed out a stellar CCU career and he had an amazing support system every step of the way. Of all the stats and records the senior guard has piled up in his coastal Carolina career, the most impressive stat belongs to his parents. Andrew and Sally Rafa have not missed a single game during his CCU career, home and away. It's great to watch him play. Yeah. That's why we, we follow him from town to town and city to city. You know, we don't miss a game. So when, when's the last time you did miss a game? Hmm, we haven't missed a game down here at all. Uh, even when things are going well, you're, you're kind of a nervous mom, aren't you? you you're Especially when it gets on the foul line. <laughs> He must feel us because we're just like we're stalking him because it's just so nerve-wracking, but it's, it's really a lot of fun. WPDE's Brianna Smith spent a game behind the bench with Carolyn Ellis, and we learned that behind the great coaching legend is a woman who plays such a huge role in his success. Here you are. Hi. Congratulations. <laughs> this July, we will have been married um, 44 Oh my gosh. 44 years. Carolyn entered a marriage knowing she'd be Cliff Shannon on the sideline, but she refused to sit silent. Look at that, Ralph! Ah! I, I don't know that I help him, except that I really yell at the refs <laughs> and I cheer for the players. And although Carolyn's cheers don't always make or break a game that Cliff coaches, yes! Yes! She found a way to put her personal touch on his career. And one of Coach Ellis's favorite segments is Sean's Corner. And of course, one of his favorite passions always came to the forefront, singing. What's your favorite music group? Uh, group, uh, Bob Marley, I guess. I know. Bob Marley, can you give us a little Bob Marley? One love, one heart, let's get together and... A little reggae from Tristan Curtis from the Bahamas. What's your favorite music group? I like Coldplay. Coldplay. I like Coldplay. Can you sing a little Coldplay? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to sing talk. Oh, brother, I can't, I can't get through. I've been trying hard to reach you because I don't know what to do. <laughs> El Haji doing a little Coldplay. Tell us about your favorite music group. Uh, my favorite music group, I, I like the Isley Brothers. Woo! Uh, they're from, they're actually from Cincinnati. Oh, so man, what's your, like, what's your favorite song? Uh, Who's that lady? Exactly, yeah, that's Who's my song. That Who's that lady? lady? <laughs> ah what. man, the Isley Brothers. Now you get into my heart there. Now <laughs> the Isley Brothers, little twist and shout, little Who's that lady? Keir Greenwood, point guard for four years, mainstay. Played a lot of games for Coastal Carolina, an all-conference player. Proud to have him. The Cliff Ellis Show was brought to you by Waccamaw Land and Timber, Beach Realty, and the Britton Law Firm. Locals love Creek Rats for dinner. They rave about the seafood dinner special. Baskets, po'boys, wraps, and burgers. But when you experience those incredible waterfront views, you get that relaxed Creek Rats attitude. On the Marsh Walk in Merrill's Inlet and on Celebration Lake in Florence. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Beach Realty. Working with Beach Realty means you get the reliability and dedication that comes with a team of seasoned professionals who are willing to go beyond the call of duty 
for you or your family. Visit scbeachrealty.com or call 877-98-SUNNY to learn how Beach Realty can help you locate your future real estate in the Garden City, Merle's Inlet, and Surfside Beach areas. Thanks to Kevin Dorenzo and the team at Beach Realty for being a part of our team on The Cliff Ellis Show. Come get that relaxed Greek rats attitude on the Marsh Walk in Merleson and overlooking Celebration Lake on South Cashua in Florence. Coach, I think it's going to be an exciting time here with this new facility. The young guys, I know you're going to get some dynamic guards, and I do want to ask recruiting-wise, it's very obvious. you got two gigantic holes to fill yep. with Kiara Greenwood and Anthony Rafa, but uh, the, the prospect of, uh, and I remember when you recruited Kier, you gave him, one of the appeals was, hey, right. you got a chance to step in and be a four-year guy. I'm sure you're doing that on the recruiting we're, we're trail. We're doing the same thing. We, we can't talk about specific guys sure. recruiting-wise because of NCAA rules, but we've already signed a couple of players that uh, – that are going to fill a void uh, for our team. But I think filling Kier's position is going to be huge, uh, as well as getting another big. So that's our focus, and uh, that's what we'll be doing in the next few weeks. And finally, the most important thing of all, we need to thank our sponsors. And it, it starts first and foremost with HTC. Their name is on this building. They are so unbelievably involved in the Grand Strand community, well beyond the Cliff Ellis Show. And DARPRO Solutions uh, has just been a loyal, great sponsor. And they're the starting point. And then everyone else you see every single week, and I, I don't want to leave a name out, right. but Britain Law Firm, a and I. Creek Rats, and we, the list goes on and on. Beach Realty, Waccamaw Land and Timber, you know, uh, Crestcom. It, it's been a wonderful relationship with so many people, and uh, that's what makes it fun uh, to see the excitement that has been built up over the years here, and I really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. It really does. Coach, the good news is we'll be back at it before you know it. Absolutely. it's a, Basketball's a crazy game, and, uh, you know, certainly uh, – uh, there's been uh, a lot of moments that I can share that have been fun. This was a disappointing way to end, but at the same point in time, I think there's a lot of positives came out of this year. And with that, we say goodbye on another season of Coastal Carolina basketball. For Coach Cliff Ellis, I'm Rich Crampanis. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next season for another year of the Cliff Ellis Show. HTC High Speed Internet is fast for my family, and that's good because with four of us online at one time, we can't afford to slow down. HTC is a plan that keeps our home connection up to speed, and faster speeds make it even easier to connect to family, friends, business, and entertainment on our tablets, laptops, and smartphones. And that's how HTC connects my home with the things that mean the most. Get more speed at home for your new tablets with HTC High Speed Internet and save. HTC, this is life. Connect with it. DAR Pro Solutions is America's oldest, largest, and most innovative recycling solutions company that serves our nation's food industry. DAR Pro offers their customers over a century of experience, a network of nationwide locations, and a continuous commitment to research and to develop tomorrow's recycling solutions. DAR Pro is founded on the heritage of two great companies, Darling International and Griffin Industries. A special thanks to DAR Pro Solutions for being the co-title sponsor of the Cliff Ellis Basketball Show. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Waccamaw Land and Timmer. Serving the Grand Strand since 1982, the ultimate goal of Waccamaw Land and Timber is to match the best interest of both the buyer and the seller. When a friend or colleague is looking for commercial property, I tell them to call the pros at Waccamaw Land and Timber. Call 449-0441 to discuss your real estate needs with Waccamaw Land and Timber. I want to thank my friend Keith Henson from Waccamaw Land and Timber for their support of the Coastal Carolina Shauna Clears.